Hello all this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can make this particular uh, sheet metal uh, beginner kind of model in uh, sheet metal workbench. So in future I am going to take some difficult um, you know advanced kind of uh, sheet metal practice examples. So in this uh, tutorial uh, we are going to discuss on this. So first of all I will just go to new file and uh, let me select a sheet metal on this window. So I am going to select sheet metal and I will just click OK. Okay, so now uh, you can see here uh, this model. Um, when you see this model, uh, there are many methods you can just follow in order if you have all the dimensions, you can uh, follow different methods. So now you can see here this, we can consider it as a base, uh, you know, uh, flange. So this is a base base flange. And in the base flange, you can create these two uh, features as well as these two features. And then you can bend all of them. Uh, this is the one method. Uh, the other method is you can create this base flange. You can see here this Wedge flange uh, which is of exactly square and then you can just bend all these uh, by using a flange command uh, there are two ways you can do it uh, but we are going to follow uh, the first one so what I'll do is I'll just go to sketcher in my mind on this plane and I'll just click OK and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one um, you know, rectangle so this is my rectangle I'm going to make it symmetric so these two lines should be symmetric to y axis and as well as as well as these two should be symmetric to x axis and let me give the dimension for this so the dimension will be 100 by 100 okay so this is also 100 okay so now let me fit this so I have fit this one and uh, we also have um, you know some curves here so let me draw these lines okay and then there is a circle okay so let me give you know con geometric constraint here so this should be tangent here and this is also should be tangent to this and then uh, whatever this point is there it should lie on this y-axis so press C for geometric constraint and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay so now uh, the dimension for this particular circle is 20 diameter okay and I'm going to trim this extra line and now the distance here is 30 mm okay so now the sketch is fully constrained so always make sure that you are uh, watching this sketch is fully constrained so if it is not constrained immediately check what the dimension are missing you can just provide that dimension otherwise you will end up with a lot of undefined uh, you no know, dimension at the end so it will be uh, very difficult to define all those things at the end okay so now go to circle again and here there is a one more circle with 10 mm diameter okay so similar you know feature I just need it in the other side as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mirror so I'm going to select this and here is the mirror okay so now we can just trim this extra line so this I'm going to trim and here as well it is trimmed okay so now we can see here uh, we have one dimension which is left so let me check that you can see here this length so let me give this length as 40 mm itself okay so now it's uh, everything is fully defined so this is what we need in the first sketch I'm going to finish the sketch so whenever it comes to sheet metal so first uh, you know our feature will be a tab so you just need to give a tab here I'm going to select this and 1.5 is the thickness so you can just provide okay okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a flange so I've seen some comments asking they cannot able to create a multiple flanges so here I'm going to show you so first of all you just need to select one edge okay and then uh, you can select the other edge so as soon as you select the both the edges you can see both the sides we have a flange so there is no error okay so now the length is 40 mm and everything the other things we can keep it as it is and you can see here bend radius i have given it as a 3 mm okay just click okay so now uh, i need to provide another flange so oh, i'm going to select a flange again so on this sorry 
on the outer edges okay so now the length will be 25 and uh, it should be inside and material inside so these are the things that i have already discussed in the flange command so if you are not aware of how you can use this uh, go to my flange command and uh, check out how we can use this okay so now i'm going to click okay so these are the two simple uh, you know uh, flanges that we have so now we need to bend uh, these particular uh, faces okay so yeah we have missed something here in the tab in the tab we have to select these two circles as well so that it will have a cutout okay now okay, click okay okay so now i'm going to go to sketch and moment on this plane so we need to bend these uh, flanges you can see here this tab whatever we have so for that i'm going to create two lines this is my first line and it should be sorry horizontal and now the distance from this point to this edge is 5 mm okay let me finish this okay sorry guys i just need to mirror this so go to mirror curve on the other side okay so it's been mirrored now we can finish the sketch so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bend this by using this bend command so what does this bend command do is uh, whenever you have a flat surface and you have created a single line on that line uh, it is going to create a bend so it is asking for a bend line now so this is my bend line so now as, as you can see here uh, whenever we give a bend line uh, the entire uh, you know base everything is you know bent so we need to reverse the side you can see here reverse the side so once you reverse the side so this side will be reversed okay you can just click apply and in the same way i'm going to do it for over here so now you can just give reverse side so in this time uh, i don't need this on the uh, upper side bend uh, i need it in a reverse direction you can see here the direction can be changed over here so you can just click okay so yeah that's all we have now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to sketch environment and we have some holes here so let me create those holes circle and there are three circles with 6 mm diameter okay now press c so all these should be you know vertically aligned so i'm going to align them vertically okay so now the distance from this edge to y axis is 10 mm okay and then the distance between these two holes and the other two holes will be also 30 okay so now as you can see here sketch is uh, you know fully constrained with one auto dimension so let us see that dimension so you can see here this dimension we have not given so overall it is having 100 mm so 30 mm is here 30 mm is here so 60 mm is here and we can give 20 and 20 on the other side so let me give 20 mm here okay so now the sketch is fully constrained so you can finish the sketch or else we can just mirror it on the other side so go to mirror and select these sketches ui axis and you can click ok so now i'm going to finish the sketch ok so i'm going to make a normal cutout here so go to normal cutout and select this sketch and you can see holes are created ok so now we are going to create the lowers here so go to sketch and select this plane again and here i'm going to create lines for lowers okay so this is the line and the distance here is 25 mm and this particular distance is 60 mm and whatever this center should lie on this y-axis so go to point on a curve so this point should lie on this y-axis so now you can see our sketch is fully constrained so i need these uh, curves should be patterned for three curves so go to pattern and select this particular 
line and along this direction so now we can see here count and pitch count is 3 and pitch is 25 mm so you can just click ok so when you do a pattern uh, you don't need to give the dimension for these other uh, you know patterned curves so it is already defined by using this particular curve so we can just finish the sketch so now we can go to lower and you can see depth and width is 10 mm now i'm going to select this single okay so it is in the reverse direction so we can just uh, reverse this direction okay and click apply the same thing i'm going to do it for this as well okay so once this is done uh, we are left with uh, some uh, you know edge blends so there is a trick how we can provide a uh, you know edge blend or a break corner so you can see here break corner you can go to break corner and uh, you can select a faces instead of these edges you can select this face so once you select this face whatever the edges that comes on this face uh, will have a edge blend so now we can select this so you can see here uh, this edge and this edge is been selected so now we can give 10 mm okay similarly we can select this face so selecting a face is very easy uh, when it comes to edges okay so now we have to provide an edge blend at these corners as well you can see uh, these two corners and uh, these two corners so now instead of selecting those corners what i'm going to do i'm going to select this face okay so once you select this face you can see here uh, 5 mm is the sorry 5 mm is the radius so 10 mm is too large so it is taking 10 mm so now as you can see here uh, the lowers whatever we have created can also be uh, considered here because they are also having a sharp edges so if you want to um, you know make a break corner for this as well you can keep this or else uh, you can just unselect and select the edges so this is the one thing you need to you know take care when you are uh, selecting a face when doing edge blend okay so now we can click okay so that's all we have in this model guys so you can just uh, hit ctrl w and switch off all the models um, all the features and then switch on only solid bodies so this is how we can make this model guys so if you have any doubts uh, please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys